Meghan Markle's gross and unladylike habits she wants to kick revealed. Meghan Markle has a reputation for her regal elegance and classy style but just like every human being, even the Duchess admitted to having a couple of unladylike habits she would really like to kick. Writing in 2016 on her lifestyle blog, The Tig, which has now been taken down, the Duchess of Sussex opened up about her New Year's resolutions which always seem to be strikingly similar each year. In particular, the former Suits actress revealed two of her bad, unmannerly habits she just cannot stop doing. Listing her 2016 resolutions in her personal blog, Meghan wrote, Run a marathon. Stop biting my nails. Stop swearing. Relearn French. She then admitted, the marathon hasn't happened. The swearing comes in lulls triggered by being overworked or feeling mighty cheeky after a couple drinks. And when it comes to the biting of the nails, well, it still happens with a turbulent flight or a stressful day. It's unladylike. But then again, so is the swearing. Damn it. Meghan's post was dated January 1, 2016, which is six months before she met Prince Harry on a blind date set up by a mutual friend. The actress was then living in Toronto, Canada while filming Suits. She decided to close the TIG in April 2017 when her relationship with Harry became more serious. To conclude her New Year's resolutions post, the California native wrote, This year I resolve to not have a resolution. If I can't run a marathon, that's okay. I'm getting older, my knees are bothering me, my nails will be fine, and if I toss out a four-letter word once in a blue moon, well frankly I think it adds character. It is not clear where Meghan will spend New Year but she will certainly be celebrating her first Christmas. As a member of the British royal family at Sandringham with her husband, the Queen and other family members. Her mother, Doria Ragland, has also received an invite from the Queen, according to a senior royal source. The source said of the unprecedented move. It's a mark of the Queen's respect for Meghan and an acknowledgement that she doesn't have any other relations in this country, unlike Kate who has the support of a very close family.